Okay, dolls, so now I'm going to show you the makeup that I've purchased over the last three to four weeks. Majority of it I have not had an opportunity to wear yet, so I can't tell you about color payoff or if I like it or if it's long lasting or any of that. So we'll start with MAC first. And this blush is called Dolly Mix. That's the color. It is a pretty pink color. And it has um, a little shimmer to it. This is a sheer tone. And it goes on absolutely gorgeous. So this is Dolly Mix. The next blush is Frankly Scarlet. And it is gorgeous. It's like a deep red um, with pinkish undertones in it or a deep pink with red undertones whichever way you want to say I'm trying to get your good look but that's it and this color is extremely potent I have worn this one a little bit goes a very 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 long way so don't put on too much because then you'll look like a clown um, I only purchased um, as far as single eyeshadows just one and then this is pen curl and I actually got this one from the CCO. And it's like a iridescent gray. It kind of reminds me of Vex, but not exactly. It's a really pretty color. And this is a frost. Next from their um, collection. Which collection is this? I don't remember. Tartan. The Tartan Tales or the Tartan collection. I picked up the six twists of Tartan eyeshadows and let me take this brush out that comes with it because I'm not going to use it. But it's all of these gorgeous colors here. I have not worn yet but I can't wait to play with them. It looks really pretty. I did swatch them in the store and the color payoff on them is absolutely gorgeous. And also from that same collection, I picked up the pigments. And this one is the Five Cool Thrill Seekers. And they look like this. So we have, this one is Soft Wash Gray. And it looks like a gray. And then this one here is Silver Fog. And it's a very, very pretty silver. Can't get it. The lighting sucks, guys. I apologize for that. And then this one reflects pearl. Here. And this one here is mauve mint. And it's really pretty. It's like a bronzy brown, mauve color. And then finally is Cheers My, Cheers My Dear. And it's a, like a light pink, but I did swatch it and it get, the color payoff on it is gorgeous. And then I also picked up um, Universal Mix. I did not think I was going to be able to find this in a full jar. I got a sample when I was out of town at the Mac Pro store. And this Reflex Teal, it is absolutely gorgeous. So if you do not have Universal Mix, go and get it. I'm actually going to go back and pick up a second one as a backup because it's at the CCO. I'm sure once they're out, they're out. And then I purchased this lipstick which came in the mail yesterday and it's like a nude color. That's what it looks like and it's absolutely gorgeous. We don't have a pro store here so I had to order it online. When I went out of town to a pro store, they were out of stock. But I absolutely love Sis Lipstick. Like I said, I got it yesterday and I'll put it on right away. And then Funtabulous. And this purple with a bunch of flecks in it. And this is really pretty. I'm going to swatch this one for you too. And it's right there. And it looks really good over Violetta Lipstick. And that's actually why I purchased it to wear over that lipstick and then I went to Victoria's Secrets I do not buy their makeup I just don't but they had some all over shimmer powders um, loose powders and this one is in bombshell and you see that iridescent bronzy gold color 
that's exactly how it looks when you put it on. This is a beautiful color. It's kind of messy. Let's see if I can swatch on my hand so you guys can see it. Absolutely gorgeous and it wears well. That's for one swatch and no base. Gorgeous. And I also picked it up in Candy Girl and it's a pink. And it looks like this. I'm going to swatch this one too. I have to do something about my lighting. And then that's the pink. It's kind of hard to see it. But it's gorgeous on, even on darker skin tones because it looks perfectly fine on me. And then ne the next items are from, what brand is this again? This is Black Radiance. And I've never purchased anything from them before, but I've been hearing a lot of reviews about it on YouTube, so I decided to try it. And this is their Warm Berry Blush. And it's like a deep red with pink undertones, gorgeous. And then I picked up three of their eyeshadows and then this one is in Parfait Pink. And I'm gonna swatch these and upload them. This one is in Blue Icing, really pretty. And the last eyeshadow is in Silver Frosting. And then I also picked up one of their loose pigments that are multi-purpose. And it looks like this in a jar. It's a pretty gold. And it's called Radiant Gold. And then the applicator is really neat. It looks like this with a little ball on it. And then just doing one swatch of it on my hand. The color payoff appears to be pretty good. But that's just right here. It's just one swatch on my hand absolutely gorgeous so those are my most recent makeup purchases hope you enjoyed it if you would like to see some of the colors specifically used in a tutorial please do leave a comment below and let me know and I will be more than happy to do that for you but last thing I almost forgot I picked up this um, love your shade of beauty and this one is in prismatic and it comes with the four colors and this is really pretty I saw Miss Chrissy 82 or Miss Chris 82 she did a look using this palette which is why I went out and got it because it was absolutely gorgeous so if you want to see a look on this particular palette leave a comment below thanks for watching